Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel, I am Jay. So in today's video, oh before I even say that, happy Pride guys, today is the Pride Parade in New York City, okay so of course you know I had the rep for my aces, so I went ahead and created this look for me and my ace family and my demisexuals and I also had to go ahead and create a flag you guys with my P. Louise paints because I couldn't find a small demisexual flag anyway. But anyway, let's just get to chit chat and get right into this look. Okay, so you already know that we're starting off with my brows. But before we go ahead and get into my brows, y'all, I had to go ahead and put on some press ons. These are the Kiss Velour Fantasy Press Ons in this pretty silver color. I think it went perfect with my demisexual look. So I put these on in here, and now we could really get started. Same old, I'm taking my Frida Kahlo brow pen and I'm drawing my brows in with that and filling them in. But yeah, I don't know if the brow pen could save me this time. Like, my eyebrows look so choppy. I went to get them waxed. I don't know what she did. This is the second time I went to get them waxed. I don't know what she did. They just look so choppy and broken up. And I'm going to go get them threaded, but I don't know if she could fix them either. But I don't know, my eyebrows are just so choppy. So you guys stay tuned for a henna video because I will be doing henna on my own eyebrows to fill in all those spaces. To prep my lips, I'm going to take this Truly Lip Pumping Mask, y'all. This smells so good, and the peppermint filler in it feels amazing. I love the way it makes my lips look and feel. Look at how pink and plump my lips look already. I love this. Starting to shape up the brows, I'm taking my Empty Too Faced Concealer. <laughs> I just had to run to Sephora yesterday and buy another one because, ooh, I done put that one down. Down, like that thing is finished and I had that for a very long time so I really do like the sizes of the concealers I think it's a good size it's not too small I can't even remember the last time I actually bought a Too Faced Born This Way concealer maybe in 2020 I'm not sure but yeah that, those last a long time that was pretty good so I just had to buy another one but yes I'm taking that concealer of course and I am drawing like shaping out my brows with that I love this y'all like I honestly like you know how I said my brows were choppy when you do the concealer I'm telling you if you are new to makeup even if when you're drawing in your brows or filling your brows you feel like you made a mistake or you feel like they don't look as good shape them up don't talk until you put that concealer down and then you'll see how good uh, your brows really are because look at that other brow compared to the brow that I just shaped up with the concealer looks like two totally different brows like and after I put that concealer on my brows don't look choppy no more they don't look messed up like it cleans everything up I love this moving on to my favorite part I'm taking my blend bunny eyeshadow palette you already know this is my go-to colorful eyeshadow palette like it has me in a chokehold but before I do that I went ahead and took some lavender P. Louise base this step was probably unnecessary because I had already laid down the beige P. Louise base but I'm just extra and like I always say it on my videos y'all don't need all those P. Louise bases and all those colors I promise you all you need is a white one and the one that matches your concealer and you'll be good to go so now I am just patting this deep purple color into place if you are not new here then you know I've been chasing my eyeshadow technique and I've been just making it more intense adding more color so that way it adds more depth to the eyeshadow and it looks 10 times better so I'm really packing on that eyeshadow and I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a half cut crease or a wing cut crease <laughs> y'all know a wing gonna eat every time for me I love everything that's wing and feline eye the eyeliner the eyeshadow everything so that's what I went with and as you can see now, I'm laying more of a lighter, like plum color purple on top of that. You can't really see, but that's the point of like layering these eyeshadows and giving it more depth. Like you blend them into each other to the point where it looks like one eyeshadow. So I'm putting that purple color right on top. And I learned this from Paige 
from uh, P. Louise herself, which is a 50-50 method where when you're blending eyeshadow on top of each other, 50% should be in the previous eyeshadow that you put down and then 50% should be on its own. And that way you'll get that ombre effect. So here you guys can see I'm laying down an even lighter purple. Okay, this is my third purple, more of a lavender color. And that's going to go right underneath my brow. And 50% is going to go into that second purple that I put down and 50% is on top so that you can see the actual color and now here you can see how it ombres perfectly and all the colors flow together and now for the final razzle dazzle to really top it off and really get that eyeshadow looking intense we are now adding black black eyeshadow is key y'all when you add that black to any cut crease it is going to intensify that 3d effect so much okay all of that black that i'm laying down right now it does not stay there once you cut your crease it's literally like a small black line that blends into whatever eyeshadow color you put down but i'm telling you adding black to your eyeshadow is it's key it's really key and if you aren't doing a like eyeshadow look that can i want to say blend with black then just adding a darker color that blends into the color that's on your you know your upper lid is it's gonna intensify it a lot and now that i have all of that purple eyeshadow blended out and it's looking good now i am moving on to cutting my crease so here i am taking some albaline if you don't know what albaline is it is a makeup melting balm it's the same melting balm as any one of those fancy fancy makeup balms that you would get from your favorite makeup company that probably costs about 30 dollars this is an affordable drugstore one and you can find it at the bottom of like any skincare out in the drugstore it's usually like tucked off away because a lot of people don't know about it but it is the bomb literally not not the bomb the b-a-l-m is the bomb literally okay like it literally melts your makeup away and not so much vaseline is not the same thing because vaseline is more of a protectant and but i do know um from watching pee louise that they use vaseline to cut the crease because it melts away the makeup but that's just for the eyes so that's probably why it does it like a little bit but i believe it works so much better because it's an actual makeup melting bomb so i use that to cut my crease and you can see it cut it really good and now i am taking my white p louise paint and i am applying that as my base and this is gonna i was gonna leave this alone because this is paint y'all this is not p louise bases this is paint but i'm using it as a base and i'm gonna go ahead and apply some white eyeshadow over that and I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard um, that you don't have to put eyeshadow over the P. Louise paints, I was not bought, you guys. I was like, nope, I'm still gonna put eyeshadow over these because I just, I couldn't believe it. Like, I feel like it was gonna be sticky and it was still gonna be like, you know, moist, but they really do dry down to like a really nice matte finish. Um, if you don't know that flag that I have there, I had to go ahead and create my demi textural flag. I couldn't find one, and I used two P. Louise paints and one P. Louise base. The purple and the gray was a P. Louise paint. The black was a P. Louise base because I couldn't find the black paint, and the paint dried down so good. The black was still a little bit moist, and like you would get some residue on your fingers, but the paint it really is super matte. Like you really do not need eyeshadow on top of these paints. Now, I was going to leave this look just purple, black, and white, but I'm like, no, I love, I gotta add the gray in there. The gray stripe is very, very much in there, so I have to add it. So I'm like, hmm, what did I want? I don't know how I came up with this diagonal <laughs> way of putting the eyeshadow on, but that's what I came up with. So I was like, okay, so we're doing a diagonal then. And I actually ended up liking it. And I was like, cool. I was going to bl blend the white and the gray in together. But I was like, cool, this works. So I ended up putting the gray eyeshadow diagonal. And then I took the gray P. Louise paint and did a line just to separate the gray and the white. And doing this diagonal look just gave me so much more ideas and creative eyeshadow looks. I love the fact that I did this by mistake, actually, because I really meant to just blend out the gray eyeshadow. I don't know how I ended up with this diagonal look. But anyway, I'm just cleaning up my cut crease now. And then I moved on to my wing liner. Yeah, I had no idea that I was so out of the screen right here. I wasn't paying attention to my monitor. But 
I'm just doing my classic big wing eyeliner and like I said I love a winged eyeshadow because it goes perfectly with my wing eyeliner so I went ahead and completed one eye and now it's time to complete the other eye so both eyes are completed so now it is time to move on to the face And starting off the face, I'm using my NYX Marshmallow Primer. I've talked about this primer so many times and I love it. Especially when doing my makeup tutorials just for my YouTube channel. I would use something more mattifying like when I'm going outside. But just for my videos, I love this primer. I also use it under my mattifying primer. And I'm just letting that dry down so it's not white or anything. And now I'm just adding some color corrector right underneath my eye and blending that out with a blending sponge. And still focusing on my under eye area, I'm taking my IT Concealer and I'm really blending that under my eye. This is a dark spot concealer, but I love to use it under my eye, y'all. This concealer matches my skin so perfectly to the T. So I like to blend this out on top of that so I can get rid of that yellow cast. And now we're going in with the foundation. So I took my two foundations, my Huda Beauty foundation and my Too Faced foundation, blend those together. I know it looks slightly yellow on camera, but I promise you it blends out perfectly when everything oxidizes and settles into the face and I match my face and not my neck um, my face is just now starting to come back to its regular color from being on Accutane so yeah got a little bit more to go and now we are focusing on concealer I'm taking my Juvia's Face Concealer and I'm using that to draw my highlights. Um, I only use this because I ran out of my Too Faced, y'all. That thing was done. It was finito finished, so I used this concealer. And then I also had to go ahead and add in like a little bit of white color corrector because this concealer was a little bit more on the orangey side. Like it was even more orange than my foundation. To my foundation, I probably should have added a little bit of blue color corrector, but I don't know. One day I'm olive on the tone next day it's like bright yellow golden i really can't so yeah i'm blending that out and i'm doing that with my blending sponge And now I'm just making sure that all of that concealer is blended out. But I noticed that my face still looked kind of flat. To me, it looked very flat. It needed some more depth. And I do this step anyway, but I added more than I usually do because I'm like, I look like a flat pie right now. Like, no. So I went ahead and I took that lighter concealer that I always use. And I usually go like a tad bit darker than this. I don't know why I was laughing at. Probably just laughing at how big my face is looking. But anyway, um, yeah, I took a bath tad bit of this concealer I made it lighter and I added that under my eye I always do this method but I made sure to really do it this time because I don't know why my concealer looks like it was blending in with the foundation it looked very flat so yes yeah, so what I like to do is take a blending sponge and I will blend out a concealer hi if you're new here this is my double highlighting method I like to use I like to incorporate the 2016 highlighting make makeup look with the newer one that everyone is doing now and the reason for me doing this double highlighting method, I just feel like it really, really fits my face. I love it. Like, the newer, doing the newer highlighting method by itself, it just wasn't given for me. I needed my triangles. The way my face is, like, round. <laughs> I just like it. The double method works for me. You understand? And I always say this in all my videos. Do what works for you. Do what you feel like fits your face. As long as it's blended, nobody can tell you nothing. And now I'm just blending that concealer out on my nose. So because my face wanted to play and be extra flat today, for my base that have been here, you know I always, always use a bronzer, but today I'm taking my Merit Beauty contour stick and I am contouring with that. Usually I just bronze, I don't contour, but because I looked extra, extra flat, I needed to add some extra, extra depth to my face. So I took that and then I blended it out with a fluffy brush. 
time for what I now think is my favorite, favorite part of doing makeup. And I never noticed how much I love this part. I'm taking my loose setting powders, my yellow and my white loose setting powders, and I'm setting that concealer underneath my eye. I first went in with the Huda Beauty setting powder, and then you guys know that I love to take a white powder and just highlight a little bit more on top of that. So I took my YSL powder, and I love this powder, y'all. I never realized it's so fine and so soft. It's a pressed powder, and I usually, I bought it so that I can carry carry around and set my face like throughout the summer but I'm gonna have to start just doing my makeup with it because it's so soft and fine and I love the way it looks moving on to the lips I'm taking my truly glow lip plumping serum but before I do that I go ahead and I wipe off the lip mask and do you see how plump my lips look like they look so plump and paint look look at my lips oh my gosh anyway now I'm taking that serum and I just go ahead and wipe that on my lips and this combination y'all this combination literally gives me pillowy pink lips look at that it's giving very much oh did you get a refill on your lips like no these are all mine thank you very much but anyway <laughs> now i'm taking my lip liner and i'm outlining my lips and i think this was an actual lip liner because my base i've been here know how much i dislike actual lip liners. Look how red that lip liner was it wasn't given i needed something a little bit more of a darker brown so i picked up another one i think this was a lip liner too though it wasn't given yeah i needed it to be darker anyway i'm like really pressing in to outline my lips with that and then for my lipstick i went with this bubblegum pink lipstick from revlon i found this in my bag recently and i love it because it gives me max snob that color had me in a chokehold this takes me back so much and just to top it off i added this milky gloss from nyx i love this because it's so soft it really feels like milk it's not sticky at all now topping off the face you guys i got this brush from my grandmother y'all she gave me this makeup brush and when i tell you this is a brush do you see the bristle i have no look at that do you see that i had to get up on y'all because this is what you call a brush child like oh my gosh i have never and i say never and i mean this had a brush that was so fluffy and so soft i have had expensive makeup brushes and nothing top this one this is a brush from savvy minerals and i looked it up on amazon they sell a couple brushes but i'm upset because it seems like they don't have as many brushes as i wish they had but i'm gonna buy the ones they do have because yo this brush like this is what you call a brush like i wish i could feel it through the screen anyway i'm taking some of my pressed powder the one that matches my skin tone and i'm just setting my face with that and wiping away and this brush is just I got about a rest and I have to do a full face with the ones that they do have like sadly they don't have like a big collection anyway I'm topping up my makeup look with some highlighter you already know and a little bit of brush so I'm gonna go I'm gonna add my lashes and stuff you know get this look together and come back for you guys and boom here is my final look okay very much semi goddess yes semi-sexual my ace family I love y'all you already know I rep my all day, every day. I don't care what nobody thinks. <laughs> anyway, here is the final look, you guys. Like I always say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time that I upload. Also, make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram at j.pier and on TikTok at j.pier underscore. If for some reason you don't have TikTok or Instagram, I'm going to leave a list right here on the screen of every single social media platform that I have. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on each one that you have and I will check you guys in my next video. Okay, I love you guys. Happy Pride Base. Bye